This is a quick video on how to put together a trombone for those that are taking these home for the very first time. Obviously, we'll cover this in class, but our lessons are um, they're pretty rushed. We've got to fit so much stuff in that hopefully this video is a useful uh, recap for you on how to do this. Step one, undo the latches. You want your instrument case lying flat, not upright like this. If I undo the latches and let it fall open now, the instrument could fall out. So, lie the instrument flat, undo the latches, open it out, and inside we have a trombone. There are three parts to the trombone. Uh, the first one you're going to get out is this kind of bell-shaped one. This is called the bell. We're going to put this over to the side for now. Second piece that you're going to get out is this section here that when it's unlocked, there's a little spinny lock on the side, when it's unlocked, it slides in and out. This is called the slide. We're very creative with the names of our instrument parts. The bell, shaped like a bell. The slide, slides in and out. And if you have it unlocked and you move it completely, it will come apart like this. And you have the inner slide and the outer slide. Be very careful when you're putting it back together like that. You just want to make sure that the edge that has the lock on there is the side of the inner slide that has the, um, the lock mechanism on there as well. So I'm going to lock that. It's in one piece. It's not going to come apart. The final piece of the instrument, you should be very familiar with this, bit, uh, this piece by now. This is your mouthpiece. And for putting together the instrument, we're going to start with these two. I'm just going to rotate around a little bit so you can see better um, what I'm seeing as I'm putting this together. So you start with your slide section. You want to be holding this so that the taller section or the taller end is on the left and the shorter end is on the right. Your mouthpiece is going to go into the shorter end. Tall end on the left, short end on the right. Mouthpiece goes in with a push and twist. It's not threaded, it's not like a screw or a nut that has to go on for a certain number of twists. It is simply a little twist as you push it in there so that it kind of stays in there nice and securely. Uh, to get it out, you twist and pull. It's worth having a few practices of that. Get into the habit of twist and push to get it in, twist and pull to get it out. You do not want to put it in there and go with your hand because while it does make a fun noise, and I'm sure you've probably tried that by now, um, while it does make a fun noise, that is a great way to get your mouthpiece stuck in the slide section and then you have to bring it to school like this so I can use my mouthpiece puller to get it out again. Um, because when you get it properly stuck, the twist and pull won't do the job. Um, so here we have the slide with the mouthpiece attached to the short section. We still have the longer connection on the left. What we're going to do is take the bell section and we're going to lower that onto the long connection there, facing away from us. So there's the slide, here's the bell, it is facing away from me. And I'm dropping that onto that longer connection of the slide. Once it's in position facing away, I push the sections together. So I've uh, applied a bit of pressure to get them to hold in place. Do up the screw, which locks them together. And you're going to want to do up that screw as tightly as you can. So you're going to need to wrap your first finger around it kind of lock that tight with your thumb and then use as much force as possible to get that nice and firmly attached. Here we have a trombone fully put together. Um, the most common issue that people come up against, and I'll just reverse that so you can see what not to do, apart from forgetting which way the screw goes, that's probably not a great thing to do either. The most common thing that people do is they forget about having the tall end on the left. And so if you have this the wrong way around, then you take your bell, you lower it on facing away from you, you push it together, you do up the screw section, and you go, okay, I'm ready to play the trombone. The problem is now 
that you have a mirror image of what you need to do, um, of how you need to have it set up in order to hold it with your left hand and move the slide with your right hand. Even left-handed trombone players uh, tend to have their trombone set up so that their right hand is moving the slide. So if you find that you put it together and you're pretty sure you got it right, um, but you can't hold it with your left hand and play with your right, just check that you had the tall section of the slide on the left when you were putting it together. So it was facing that way, not the other way around. Tall bit goes on the left, bell section drops down, push it together, and tighten it up. It seems like I've explained that very thoroughly for a pretty simple process, but this causes a lot of issues for a lot of people. Um, and there are occasions where people are still coming to lessons in term three and term four of uh, their first year of playing, and they still go and put their instrument together the wrong way around, so they can't hold it correctly, and then they have to fix it every single week. They will come in and do that. And I hope that you won't be that person, because if you're losing 20 seconds of your life every time you play the trombone, uh, by putting it together the wrong way around and then having to fix it, um, that would be a bit of a shame. I'm not going to do the maths, but that's a lot of your life being lost. So, here we have completed trombone. Remember your slide has a lock. Remember that the bell goes on the tall section of the slide. And push, do up the screw. Easy! I'm sure you can do it.